When I was 17, my high school was surrounded by farmland on three sides. But despite that fact, my cowboy boots were the only ones to walk those hallways. Out of 1,300 students, I was the only farm kid. One day while waiting for the bus, a student walked up to me and said, you know, Bruce, I've been thinking. You're a farmer, but without consumers like me buying your food, you would go out of business and we, there wouldn't be a need for you. I quickly replied by saying, well, where would you get your food without farmers like myself? Which he had no answer to. But that got me thinking. There is a huge disconnect between farmers and consumers. Without farmers, where is the food going to come from? In my community in Bowmanville, where would we get our food if not from the local areas around us? Maybe we'd have to import it from another country. Who knows? But the point still remains, even now when I'm in university at, in Guelph, people don't know where their food comes from. They have no idea what goes into actually making that milk or growing that grain. People don't understand farming. And I think that is what has led to food insecurity. We need to feed 9 billion people in the next 50 years, and we can't even feed the 7 billion people that we have right now well enough. So my solution has three steps. Step one is schooling. Our schools need to implement agriculture in the curriculum. Why is math, civics, and history, geography all core courses when farming isn't, and yet it touches us three times a day? Why doesn't our math courses have agriculture components? Why doesn't our social studies, our civics, why don't they look into agriculture? Why don't our culinary classes go to farms? How do we expect the next generation to take over the farming when we're not educating and getting them interested in doing so? Second step is farmers. Farmers produce 300 times more than uh, at this day than 50 years ago with less resources and less land. That's pretty freaking incredible if you ask me. How else would we have been able to keep up with the population growth? We wouldn't. <clears throat> Farmers like my dad work day in and day out to put food on a lot of people's tables, but they have no idea what goes into making it. We're not a huge farm, we're a family farm, but we still produce a lot of milk. Where would that milk come from otherwise? Who knows? But we need to give farmers tools like video so that they can tell their stories and consumers can actually see what goes into making their food. Step three, consumers. We waste 40% of the food that comes in our door. That's out of control. That's inconceivable. That's ridiculous. Consumers, we need to be better at using our food. We need to be smarter. We need to buy it when we need it and freeze it when it's going to go bad. We need to use our food better if we expect to actually feed the world. And we need to demand from our news sources to actually cover agriculture stories so that we, the consumers know what's going on on farms. Feeding 9 billion people isn't going to be easy. Nobody said it was, but nothing worth the effort is. It's time for all of us to learn more about farming so that we can tackle this food insecurity problem together. It's going to take everybody, but I think the farmers are willing and I'm sure the consumers are willing too.